welcome back to Mrs. Gary. Keep moving, stay active, and do something. Yesterday, my husband and I we went to the store for our weekly shopping, and I was really surprised because most of the baking ingredients were gone. So evidently, people at home are baking stuff, and so am I. So today, I'm gonna share with you the ingredients on how I make my banana bread because I do have um, extra bananas or oh, they're actually really right now really good for the bread but the recipe of my banana bread is not the secret to how I stay on my comfort fit so how do we do that every time I bake banana bread or bread or pa pastries or pies whatever that is what I do is I make sure that most of that day, I would only eat what I bake. So it's my fault because I bake stuff, right? So I have to suffer and eat them all. The bread and all this baking and stuff can add to your pounds so quickly. We wanna be able to go back to work or wherever we are going after all this um, lockdown thing and still looking at how we were or even better. this far that means you got the tip and if you're still interested to see the no secret of my banana bread then let's go ahead and do it but if you get bored and done watching just thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe mrs. Gary let's get it All right, so let's see what happened to our bread. Oh, mama, look at that bread cracking, baby. Woohoo! I think that's good. It's hot. It's so good. It's very simple, but it is so tasty. By the way, the recipe on this, I got it from my neighbor that is now located in Spain. Thank you, Auntie Loloi. I really don't know if I should. Should I give this banana bread to my neighbor? I really wanted to share it to her because I made two of them and I wanted to share it to her. I gave her some before and she liked it. It wasn't a banana bread, it was um, breakfast roll like pandesal in the Philippines and she loved it. She came over here and thanked me. But that was prior to this COVID thing, the corona thing. And now I wanted to share to her my baked banana bread but <laughs> I don't know. 
I feel bad. I really wanted to give it to her. That one right there. But will I be in trouble? Will I make her sick for giving that to her? She's there cleaning. And this is really fresh and it tastes good. I wanted to share it to her. Why can't this Corona thing just go away so I can do whatever I want? Yeah, she's there. I'm picking right here like a... She's there. Yeah, she's busy in her garden. It's not advisable, right? It's not advisable to give or to hand over some stuff to a neighbor because it's not social distancing then. <sighs> I guess it's safe if I don't share anything to my neighbor. Too bad. I'm giving it to her anyway. share and it's it's also a way of building relationship with neighbors you know we've been neighbors for about for a few years now and you know I haven't really had longer conversation I haven't been to her house she haven't been here I mean we've only reached to the front door to each houses but we've never really come inside our houses either so I'm so glad that I was able to do that and it just made me happy, you know, because she's give me stuff, you know, and I and that's like our way of telling that we're neighbors. So hope that even though with all this thing going on, we're, we still get connected to our neighbors because it's the best thing. Bye.